Recording? Hello again. So, uh, this is kind of a brief overview of our method for um, taking uh, media that we want to use to grow anaerobic bacteria and essentially removing the oxygen from the media. And we've developed a, a pretty, what I think is a pretty good and efficient way of doing that without a lot of fuss, without a lot of mess, without this fiddle flask over here. You don't have to deal with that. Um, so we take this media, I've prepared it all, you know, beforehand, and it's sterile, it's autoclaved, it's good to go, now I just need to remove oxygen. So, I put it in this uh, 70C water bath. And, uh, because obviously the heat helps to remove the oxygen, you need heat to help sparge the media, right? And here's what I do. You know, may be superfluous, may be excessive, but so we take a 0.2 micron filters just on the very minimal chance that there's any kind of bacteria in here or uh, in these lines. Just replacing this. Put some brand new filters on there. Filter out any bacteria. Seth, you can show how how those filters sit on the oh. on the end of so, the line. Sure. So at the end of the line, we just made a we just used uh, these tuberculin syringes as the end, um, and they work quite well, cheap, easy, quick. Um, and most most filters will just sit on the end of it like that. It's pretty simple. And so now I have a couple of tubes that have autoclaved. Let me uh, be extra careful. I'm just going to wash my hands with some ethanol. Take a tube like this. Place it on the end here. It's got a pretty snug fit. Same thing over here.
so in a few minutes or actually more like 20 minutes the the color will change and it will be almost transparent right, and so then we'll show you the end result exactly thank you Seth we will come back in 20 minutes <laughs> again I just did a few things came back and now the media is pretty clear as you can see and like I said it only took about 20 minutes I wasn't watching the clock exactly but I think it was less than 30 more than 20 all right so now as in our previous video I'm just gonna sterilize my hands find where I put those auto play caps. Yeah. And quickly replace the foil with the cap. Shoot, my cap open. There we go. And boom. I would like to also bring to your attention that you could see here sometimes liquid goes into the uh, gas line because this. Um, <clears throat> this uh, 20, uh, 0 0.22 micrometers filter, when it gets wet, it doesn't, uh, doesn't let any gas through. And it sometimes happens at the end of bubbling, but as you see, it didn't harm any, it didn't harm any anoxic uh, treatment. The media is perfectly clear. And even if it is, even if it did look a little pink, uh, we have put cysteine in there and uh, we found that uh, like if we go home at the end of the day and even if the media is a little pink you come in the morning it's perfectly clear correct it's like water yeah the system is totally self-contained but make sure that you warm up your media because otherwise you cannot get rid of oxygen and cysteine would not um, reduce it and now you can put it back to room temperature and use, you can use it at any time. Bye, right. Engineer, signing off. Bye.